13th race, Peel behind the gate, moving up. Classic Distaff Pacers behind the gate, moving up. Here they come. They're off. There goes Ramalet Hanover out for the lead. Hawaiian Flash comes out of there down toward the inside. Best laid plans. Sanibel Island is getting away in fourth as they move into the first turn from the outside. That's Hawaiian Flash up to get the lead now. Ramalet Hanover back to second. Yes, it's true. Underway up into third. Best laid plans is next, followed by Sanibel Island. Then comes Lifetime Member, who's racing in sixth. Next there at the rail is Aquatic Yankee. Coming to the outside is only the best. The trailers there are Magical Pride on the outside, Sporty Lucy, and Mercy, 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 as they go toward the end of the back stretch. Yes, it's true, made the lead. Hawaiian Flash is back to second now. The opening quarter was 27 and 3 fifths. They're on the turn. Yes, it's true, up front. Sitting in second is Hawaiian Flash. Two back Ramblet Hanover. Here comes Sanibel Island up on the outside. Strong now. Trying to follow Sanibel was lifetime member. They have 57 seconds. And Sanibel Island from the outside is up to battle for the lead. Yes, it's true. It is back to second. And then in third is Hawaiian Flash. Two lengths Ramblet Hanover. Outside. Lifetime member followed by only the best. Trapped inside. Best laid pants. Third over is Magical Pride. Followed by Aquatic Yankee. They go into the clubhouse turn, trailing our sporty Lucy and Mercy. Mercy, Mercy comes out from last as they move midway on the clubhouse turn. Sanibel Island has the lead up on the outside now. Lifetime member is up into second, back to third. Yes, it's true. Alongside only the best, 126 and two-fifths. They move up the back stretch. Sanibel Island leads it by about a neck, right up alongside. That's lifetime member. Yes, it's true, has the rail in third. Alongside comes only the best. Then it's Magical Pride up into fifth now. Sixth along the inside, that's Hawaiian flag. And it's Sporty Lucy. Aquatic Yankee is three wide. Then it's Ramalette Hanover. The mile time was 155 flat. They come toward the top of the stretch. Three wide. Only the best on the far outside up to join Sanibel. Only the best just made a break. Sanibel Island now turns for home on top. Ready to move down the inside. Yes, it's true. It's Sanibel. Sanibel's got the lead. Here's Yes, it's true. And John Campbell to win it. Yes, it's true. In front, Sanibel Island, Sporty Lucy, and Lifetime member, 223 and 4. A world record. To the winner's circle area and Marv Pakrod. Thanks again, Jack Gallagher. And again, our fourth and final Classic Series event of the day. Another world record, and the world record trainer is right here, Kevin McDermott. Kevin, a uh, uh, big difference from her race last week. That was a good tune-up for her. She got used to the track, that's for sure, and, and John knew exactly what to do. Yeah, John raced her a mile and a quarter last week, like I told him to, to get her ready for today. <laughs> She's a great mare. She wasn't right last week. She was very dull, and uh, she had the scope a little sick after the race, but she responded real quickly. Well, she is really an exceptional mare. When, when you purchased her for uh, uh, Alistair Stables, uh, uh, earlier the uh, during the winter, uh, you paid $125,000, and he really was interested to get some of his money back and then have a nice broodmare. Uh, yeah, I watched the race out in Chicago, and we knew she fit a couple of the series early on. Uh, never did we think it is, and uh, she's a great mare, and it's a pleasure and an honor to train her. Well, before uh, coming to Dover last week, she had won 14 in a row, and it looked like she had no stopping there. Uh, this is a mare that I, I'm sure you have other big plans for for the rest of the summer. Right. She goes on to uh, Mohawk, her next start, then back to the Meadowlands, the Lady Liberty, the Breeders' Crown. She's in all the races. It's very tough, like last week, to keep a mare going from October right through here mm -hmm. without having any flaws. And the races weren't filling at the Meadowlands, so she was getting in every three weeks. It's very tough to keep one fit. Is she the type of a mare that uh, helps herself uh, when uh, she isn't racing? Uh, she doesn't do things to, to get you alarmed? No, she's a great mare. She never wears a harness except for when she races and trains. We lead her at the farm all week long and uh, never misses a meal. She eats everything up and uh, here she is, world record holder. That's for sure. Let's get John Campbell here. John Campbell has certainly no, been no stranger to the Dover Downs Winter Circle. And uh, tell us a bit about, uh, yes, it's true. Last week, uh, uh, her trainer, uh, 
uh, Kevin McDermott said she was a little dull. She certainly wasn't dull tonight. No, she was back to herself. She just uh, never really picked up the bit the, the whole mile. I don't know if it was because I didn't leave with her or, or just what, but she didn't race near as well last week as she had, uh, obviously, in the future. She knows how to win. We know that for sure. That's for sure. She certainly has shown so much uh, in uh, different circumstances. Coming from the eight hole on a five-eighths mile track with a bulky field like this, uh, there weren't too many things that uh, uh, concerned you, I guess. I guess you just knew that you had to be out uh, pretty close to the front. Well, judging from the other races, uh, you know, I got away back in those and didn't, didn't do that well, so I figured I might as well try and be up near the front with one of them at least. How has uh, this mare progressed since uh, early in the season when you started on that long win streak? Well, horses know the difference between winning and losing. She's obviously gained confidence, but she was actually very good uh, when I started driver, which was in the uh, middle of that streak. Uh, you know, it you can't say she's just uh, gotten that much stronger. She was very good at that time, but, you know, she's certainly full of confidence, and as I said, they know the difference between winning and losing. And, of course, uh, Sanibel Island uh, had to come from the second tier to get the lead there. Did you have any uh, second thoughts when you turned for home, or did you have uh, an awful lot of horse on view? Oh, she felt pretty strong. Uh, around the middle of last turn, she kind of hesitated, and I gave her a whack, and, uh, and then she uh, was right up in the bit, and I was pretty sure she was going to win once we hit the passing lane. Thank you very much, John Campbell, the uh, Hall of Fame driver, the world's leading money-winning harness driver. And we'd like to maybe call in for a second uh, Nick Salvi, who is the executive director of the Classic Series. Nick, come over and just say hello for uh, a moment or two. The Classic Series is shared by three races.